And anytime we talk about things that we might be able to see in San Francisco, we have to wonder, <laughs> VNA, is the fog going to be as thick as it is behind you right now? Yeah, that's a great question, and we are expecting for it to linger, especially into you know the first half of our day. And yeah, that's fog. Chris is right. This is not a broken camera. This is in fact supposed to be a shot of San Francisco, but the fog is so dense right now that you can't even see the city behind it. Now, as far as our current temperatures go, we're already pretty mild, but we're going to warm up into the 80s for the South Bay. 86 degrees in San Jose, East San Jose, 88, Cupertino, 85, Milpitas, 87, in through the Tri Valley. Look at Walnut Creek, 88. Still a couple of 90s in the forecast for Pleasanton, Danville, and Antioch. And around the peninsula, and of course the coastline, 70s for today in San Mateo, 74. San Francisco is going to be in those mid 60s for today. We've got breezy winds at about 18 miles per hour around the coast. And remember, it's going to be a lot slower to clear, so not as sunny as what we can expect inland. Sonoma, 83. Nevada, 80. Mill Valley, 69 degrees. What can we expect for the next seven days? Well, another warm day today, but as that high pressure begins to move east out of the area, we see an onshore flow that's going to help cool us down into more comfortable low 80s for inland temperatures. And then eventually into next weekend, look at Monday, 79 degrees. So definitely going to get a little bit of relief from this heat. Triple digits not expected, at least not for tomorrow. The next couple of days, we're going to see a nice cooling trend ahead. San Francisco, 63 degrees for tomorrow. Notice a cloud cover. So yes, we'll see again the return of that cloud heading into this afternoon. All right.